My name is Fiona Onasanya, and I am the Member of Parliament for Peterborough. It has been my privilege and honour to serve you as your Member of Parliament, being your voice for change in the corridors of power. However, this has become somewhat overshadowed by the charge brought against me for perverting the course of justice. Throughout the last few months, you would have seen news articles, television articles, and also read on social media about my case. And all of this time, I have not been able to share my side. But just like a coin has two sides, so does a story. And this is my time now to share with you, without media spin, what my side of the story is. From the outset, I have maintained my innocence. I have not perverted the course of justice. I have not colluded with my brother. My defence was never put across in the media. At all times, they always put forward the prosecution's case. Now I have this opportunity, I would like to ask. People have asked for my resignation, but what would you do if you knew you were innocent? Would you sit back and accept it? Would you accept the verdict knowing in your heart of hearts that you are innocent? Or would you fight to clear your name? And so I just want you to know that when I was found guilty on the 19th of December 2018, I put in my grounds for appeal and sought permission to appeal the conviction. Nevertheless, on the 29th of January 2019, I was sentenced to time in a Category A prison. Category A. Category A is reserved for incidents or even convictions such as murder, attempted murder, firearms offences, rape. In addition to that, I have had to come out and been asked, will you resign? What would you do? What would you do in my position? Bear in mind, and it's this one question I'd like to ask, do you think, as your Member of Parliament, I would risk everything, and I mean everything, for the sake of points and a fine? Could it be that I am innocent and I have to clear my name because this is not correct what has happened? So I wanted to also let you know that within 500 days of being elected to public office, I spoke 95 times in the House of Commons. I have looked at 1,669 individual cases. I have spoken with over 130 organisations and community groups. And also I've held one-to-one -one private consultations and I've done over 200 of those. This is what I have done being your voice of change. And I would ask you, if you still wish for me to represent you, to bear this in mind when you are asked to think about me. The media has shown you one side. I am telling you, I am innocent and will continue to pursue avenues to clear my name. If you wish for me to continue as your independent member of parliament, I am willing and able to do so but the choice is now in your hands. I would like to say I have a deep gratitude to all who have offered prayers, support and love during this difficult period of time over the past few months. And also say to you all, thank you. I will continue to be your voice of change in Parliament for as long as you wish me to do so. And if you do wish me to do so, I can tell you, I will continue to lobby government I will continue to fight for social justice with all of the veracity and power that I have been so far and continue to be your voice because you deserve nothing less.